In the announcements channel on Midjourney, they have said there are two new modes that you can use for creating your artworks. The first is a general purpose artistic mode you can use by typing dash dash test. The second is a photo realistic version which you can use by using dash dash test p. You can also access both of these settings by using the command slash settings. They say we are still trying to figure out how creative the system should be. If you want to be more creative, type dash dash creative after your prompt. So far, our guides mods preferred less creativity for photos, and there was an even split for general purpose mode. Personally, I love creative, but it's a bit more chaotic for sure. So here are some limitations that they know so far. This test does not support multi-prompts or image prompts. The maximum aspect ratios is 3 to 2 or 2 to 3. Each command makes two square images or one for non-square. So that means when you are putting in your initial prompt, you get two images if you're using the standard square aspect ratio and just one if you're trying any other type of aspect ratio. Words near the front of the prompt may matter more than words near the back. So it means that the words that you're putting first in the text prompt are more important than the words that are going later in your prompt. The system may sometimes lock onto nouns more than adjectives, which means it's weighting nouns more importantly than adjectives. Please expect us to regularly change the model for the next few weeks. We're planning for more changes. Have fun, tell us what you think. So just to make sure that they say this test will last 24 to 48 hours depending on user behavior and moderate, moderator feedback. So let's take a little look at what it can do. So I've been having a little play around with it this morning and let me show you what's going on. So this was the first version that I have generated. You can see that it is doing a much better job on generating facial features and coherence inside of the image. You could see that before eyes were a huge issue for Midjourney, but now they're looking much more realistic and coherent. Even all of the features, the way they are arranged inside of the face, seem more consistent with a real human. We can compare this with the exact same prompt that I was using on the original version of the algorithm and you can see here that the, the eyes are, are looking more like some abstract interpretation of an eye than an actual eye whereas here there is a real lifelike realism to the eyes and in this video in this version you can see once again it's uh, it's really got a fantastic smoothness to the skin there is something that is much more uh, feeling less uh, painted or abstract than the first algorithm, where here you can see that there is something much more mm, to do with uh, using a medium to create the artwork. And finally, here is the photorealistic uh, algorithm that's been using, which you can access by using dash dash test p. And this uh, certainly is uh, owing on the sublime. The realism that is available in this is incredible. So I encourage you to jump in and test out these two new algorithms because there's only 24 hours to use them now until they might release them later fully into the system. And so just to reiterate how to use those, to use the photorealistic algorithm, what you have to use is dash dash test P and you'll get a more photorealistic outputs. If you're looking to use the more creative version, you can use dash dash test. You can also increase the creativity by adding dash dash creative at the end of your text prompt. Remember that you're only going to get two outputs if you use the square aspect ratio and one if you're using anything but a square aspect ratio. I would also like to mention, if you're interested, that I have a course that I've just released all to do with Midjourney and it will take you through step by step all of the features available in this revolutionary new platform. I would love for you to try it out and hear any feedback you have. Anyway, thanks for watching, have a delightful day, ta-ta!